Hey, everybody. It's Dr. Daria Gaffrapour here. Thanks for joining me. I'm excited to be here. I'm getting a little bit more comfortable um, with this concept of doing a, a live video. Um, hope you can be patient with me. I've got bright light shining on my face. And somehow I've got a little bit of the jitters. So um, here I am uh, at the tail end of the first day of a workshop that I'm attending. Uh, it's called the Virtual CEO. And it is a training program that is um, designed to help uh, entrepreneurs um, build and create a lifestyle and build a business that will support that lifestyle. Hey, someone's here. I, th I see a thumbs up. Let's see how quickly this, my phone will show me who it is because <laughs> I missed whoever's attending right now. Um, okay. Well, you know, I feel like I want to share something um, on the topic of um, moving forward. Uh, I like encouraging people in, in whatever way that I can. Somehow when I'm having conversations with people, I find that I tend to hone in on what's that golden nugget and what they're sharing with me. And sometimes I realize that maybe someone is hung up on um, a self-esteem issue or a confidence issue but they don't come across that way. Like they feel that internally, but they come across as being very competent and knowledgeable and able to do whatever it is that they're a little bit uncertain uh, about. And so I kind of learned some principles that I thought were pretty neat. Um, and uh, Eben Pagan is the one who's running this workshop and he was talking about how self-esteem really is about trusting your future self where, because more and more in life we have to just keep figuring things out. It's not just when we're a student in school that we need to learn and apply our knowledge in the form of, you know, answers to an exam, let's say. Um, but we have, we have life circumstances that we need to figure through in our personal lives and in our professional lives. And the more that we can trust in our future self, like when we understand that maybe at this moment we don't have the answer that we're looking for, but we trust that we'll get there. And we trust in our own abilities to, um, to move forward and to deal with the challenges of our lives, um, that it's okay if I don't have the answer at this moment because I know that the answer will come to me. Well, just that knowledge, that confidence in ourself, that eventually we'll recognize when the answer will come, allows our bodies to relax. It allows for a reduction in tension. When we're tense, we don't achieve well because we're stressed. We're too stressed. Uh, a little bit of stress is very helpful because it gets those endorphins going and we feel a bit revved up and it helps us move ourselves forward. Like, I feel a little bit revved up right now. I know I'm live on video, and I know that eventually more and more people are going to be viewing this video. And I have that stress of, like, I don't know if I'm going to be saying the right thing. And um, that's okay. You know, it, it, it's okay. I feel like I trust my future self enough to know that the words are going to come. You know, and it's going to make sense to someone. It's going to help someone out. And so when we, when we can have that trust, and it's not just in our future self, and, and, and that future self could be existing 10 minutes from now, you know, but it's kind of having a trust in general in, in the way of the world that eventually things will work out and they'll pan out uh, for the better good of all of us. Well, then we can achieve our goals. And that goal also, if we look at it on the flip side, let's say, for us dentists, when our patients are feeling stress and tension, it becomes very challenging for us to be able to deliver the dental care that they need and, and the reason why, why they're in our dental chair, because they're really caught up in that moment of stress. And it comes across in various ways, and it, it, it does create a challenge. And that's part of our job is to mitigate that stress to be able to show ways and, and demonstrate ways to our patients that um, uh, ways of calming down, right? Because then 
once someone feels calm and they can feel soothed, their bodies relax, the muscles relax. We can feel that. We know that. You can hear that the breathing slows down. And what happens when that occurs? We can move forward, you know. We can go ahead and provide the, the dentistry through that procedure that's necessary. It makes it easier to get through to the end. And that, all in all, allows us to do a higher quality of our work. Well, that's one example. And by the way, if you're there, feel free to, to give me a thumbs up or write a comment or something that, because um, I can see that. Uh, if you're here live, I can see that. Uh, if we're not live anymore, then I would see it after the fact. Um, so in any case, I don't mean to be rambling, rambling on, but this was a highlight that stood out to me, something about trusting your future self. And when we can impart that, um, that, that perspective on other people, it can help them get through a tough situation in their life. And, uh, and that can just pay it forward. You know, the more people can feel, I keep coming back to that word stress, the more people can feel less stress, the more productive that they can be and the closer they can be to achieving the goals that they want. So it might be a bit generalized what I'm speaking of. I hope that bringing up that one um, example about our patient experience might clarify things for you. And you can probably find ways that you can apply that principle in your own life. And uh, feel free to leave a comment and maybe open up a discussion for, uh, for ways that you think that um, trusting your future self can help you out in your life, both professionally and personally. And uh, yeah, I'd really appreciate that. Share if you feel that this was um, helpful for you. And if you can think of other people who might want to or who might be able to uh, get some benefit um, from these few moments here uh, of my video. And uh, there will be more to come. I'm about to head down to dinner with a group of uh, new friends that I've met. who um, and, and, and we're on assignment, so we've got more things to discuss uh, so that we continue to learn from one another. And uh, that's how I build myself personally and professionally because um, these things are helpful for me in formulating my ideas and, and helping to create my path for myself, which I have found allows me to um, connect with my community better. And um, ultimately, I find that um, through sharing my knowledge, I can help others feel like they can achieve their goals as well. Anyway, thanks for joining me. I really appreciate it. And uh, again, uh, give, leave a comment. Uh, give a reaction here, share this video if you like, and uh, more to come, more to come. Can't promise when, just yet. We'll see when I feel inspired. Uh, have a great night. Bye-bye.